So Ian, it's great to, to be with you today. Uh, you're with us on the 16th and 17th of April in Devon, delivering a principles-based coaching training across the weekend. And it'd be just great to get a bit of a flavor of what is that training gonna be like? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, Liz. It's, um, I think it's gonna be fun. And what I gather is that people who are coming are people who've already heard about three principles. They're already interested enough um, to have seen maybe some of the potential that that might have for themselves and also in their, in their work with clients or whatever setting they're working in. So for me, it's an opportunity for people to come and um, take that initial interest a few steps further and hopefully de uh, deepen their own grounding, what we call grounding, which is like an embodied understanding of what the principles are about to the extent that they can actually see the, you know, the practical value of this in their, in their daily life and their work life particularly. That's what I'm hoping is that people will get from it. They'll actually be able to see practically how this can really impact people, how it can really help people. And it can also make their own job a lot easier. So what do you find then? Because I know that you, um, you do lots of training with different people. What do you find with, let's say, coaches who may be want to share a principles-based approach with their clients but are a bit uncertain how to do it what are the, the kinds of questions that people come up with or some of the the bumps or challenges that they they come up against um yeah it i mean it does require a different kind of uh emphasis and a different perspective than what some coaches might be used to because i think traditional coaching often as i understand it the emphasis will often lead towards, um, let's say, a results orientation or a goal orientation. You know, they'll be working with clients who want to achieve certain outcomes and objectives. So the coaching role there would be to help that person, you know, ident get clear on what the goals are, what might be the obstacles in the way, whether they're internal or external, help them to get beyond those um, limitations, maybe help them develop strategies and so forth. With the three principles approach, what we're helping people to see is, um, in a nutshell, how all of their experience gets created. And what we're really talking about is something that's common to all humans. It's a, it's a different com kind of conversation. We're helping people to understand that there's something fundamental to the human experience that most people don't realize. There's something going on behind the scenes that influences and even determines those outcomes, uh, you know, the kind of things that we, that we end up uh, achieving or not achieving. There's something invisible that's influencing all of that. And it's also influencing our daily interactions with our family, with our friends, even with ourselves in our quiet moments. Um, so it's, it's something that kind of sits behind everything else that we do, the three principles. And that's why it's so universally um, helpful people often find that you know, they, they're looking for help in a certain area, they learn about the three principles and they suddenly start to see that they're getting helped in other areas that they weren't even looking for. You know, they weren't even aware that that was something that could change. Um, so it's, it's a different emphasis. We're not giving people tools or orienting them towards achieving specific goals or solving specific problems. We're helping them to understand something that's much more generic which once they understand that, it will help them on a go forward basis in, in any area of their life. Um, so it's a different kind of conversation and it, you say it has a different emphasis, but it dovetails beautifully with any kind of one-to-one -one or even one-to-group work that I've, that I've come across. So if I, if I come along, and I will be coming along obviously, on, on the 16th and 17th, what, what, what kind of training is it do, do we go into? pairs and do stuff do you teach us models and techniques how, how, did, how well you said not techniques but how does it like practically work what will i experience what does it look like well it does depend a little bit on who's in the room and what the existing level of understanding is because and so initially i would do a bit of what i would call intake a bit of case taking just to get a, a feel for where people are already at you know whether people are already bringing this understanding into their work whether they've already seen it be helpful or not and i mean expecting there'll be a, a spectrum of um, different levels. That's usually the case. Now, the, um, there's certain things that we need to have in place that, so that I, you know, I know that everybody has got a certain level of realization about what the principles are about. So I would think we'll be spending the, 
first part of the day going through that thoroughly so that people really uh, they have their own realizations and they've got their own insights about what this is really about that needs to be in place once that's in place what we can do then is help people to explore the implications of that in different areas of life so we can certainly we can set up role plays um, i can do demos for people if that would be interesting for them um, they can also bring examples into the room if they want to whether it's themselves or you know i've got a client who what would you do if kind of thing so a lot of that will be you know it'll depend on the you know the material will depend on who's in the room but i there's a variety of different ways that we can work with that um i think it, it does work best when people people have to see it for themselves that's the simplest way i can put it so i'll do whatever i can to create a conducive environment for people to see it for themselves. Right. And then, and then the idea is that then when I walk away at the end of it, because everybody, I guess, is going to be, we're all going to be in a different space anyway with maybe with our coaching practice, who we're going to be talking to. But I guess I'll, I'll go away with a sense of how I might now share, share the principles in the context that of the coaching that I'm going to be using it. So individually, we'll all have a different sense of that. I, I guess, is that what you're saying? I would expect that, yeah. And, and some people will see very quickly and very easily, oh yeah, you know, this will be super helpful for client X. You know, people will start to see, probably, there'll be certain um, people that you're already working with or situations that they've been in where they'll immediately see the relevance. But there'll be other situations where that won't necessarily be so obvious. It will still be relevant, but that might take a while for them to start to, to get a feel for but I would hope and expect that everybody will see that there's at least some areas where this could immediately have an impact. Great. So it's a two, it's two days. Mm -hmm. um, at the end of it, people will have had a chance to really get a sense of where they are in their grounding and their understanding. It sounds as though that you're going to really encourage participation in the room. So people bring either like cases, they, people they've been working with, and it sounds like maybe you demonstrating some principle-based coaching approach as well. Is that might be on the cards if that's where yeah, we go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd be happy to do that if that's um, you know if that's something that could be helpful for people. Great. Well, it sounds great. We're really looking forward to it. The dates, just as a reminder, are the sixteenth and seventeenth of April. Uh, we look forward to seeing you there, Ian.